gotcha. Seven, Thank you. six, five, four, three, two, one, we're alive. Okay, so, well, tonight we had Raina getting into bed with, you know, Zach. I mean, not like literal bed, but like business bed. <laughs> it was like, wait, I missed that. I know, I know. That could be confusing, but business-wise, uh, Will and Kevin break up. Sad, moment of sad, silence, sad. moment of silence Ooh. for that. And then Avery and Juliet, I mean, y'all like totally had it out. Yeah. But then you totally got it on. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Right. Yeah. yeah. Bow chicka bow wow, right? Oh no. Is that yeah, no? no that's, <laughs> they're, that's they're an honest couple, you know? I mean, yeah. Gotta, no, it was legit. Yeah. Um, five time Emmy winner Jonathan Jackson is joining us tonight. <laughs> so, um, Nash Chat, we're officially live and it's starting now. I am Amy Brown, and we are back with a brand new Nash Chat. Super excited to be here. Like I mentioned, we've got Jonathan Jackson here, Avery on the show, duh, like obviously. But we also have a beautiful songbird here with us, Alyssa Bonagura. Yeah, and Bonagura means... Good heart in, in Italian. Yes. Nice. So we are <laughs> bilingual here at Nash Chat. <laughs> yeah, girl. You learn something learn new. Stuff. I mean, you can you can now if you're watching this and you're supposed to be studying or doing something like super duper important, you can be like, ah, well, I'm learning Italian. So exactly. you've always got that going for you. And then it's a really cool time tonight too because on the couch we have two Nashies, two like Nashville super fans. Ah. Yeah, we've got uh, Christopher and Becky. Yes. So thank you for joining us thank tonight. You. Thank you for having yes. us. Thank you. We well, appreciate it. Very no exciting. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Anytime, anytime. I mean, well, that's one of the cool things about being a fan and like Nash Chat and being able to do this after the show is it really is all about the fans and interacting. Yes. And so what we need you guys on Facebook to be doing right now is to start sending questions to Jonathan because we're going to do a Q&A later. Are you okay. cool with that? Sure. So yeah. send, start sending the questions. We'll start compiling those. And while we're receiving that stuff, we'll just dive into tonight's episode Let's because I feel like it was so Ready. good. There's, Go for it. There's so, so much, much to talk it. about, and I feel like since we have Jonathan here, we'll start with like a major Avery scene. Okay. Um, you know, the face, the face yes. clip. Yes. Where, yeah. yeah, it's like, mm -hmm. mm, I feel like if you're... I practiced that one for hours. Oh, yeah. You did? Yes. Best line yeah. ever. Give Every a, day. Give us, like, would you be in the mirror and just... Yeah, I, yeah, I would just stare and go, no, not, not quite right. And then I just eventually, <laughs> no, I just had to trust the moment that it would be. <laughs> so he, he trusted the moment, yes. and this is what we got. Here's the clip. Right. Sorry. What? What? You have a look on your face. This is just my face. Oh, I guess I never noticed. I'm gonna go check on kids. I mean, I gotta say, you nailed it. Well, it you was, nailed it. No, for me, it was it was all Hayden's reaction to it. That was that was the best part. Yeah. The way she delivered that line was just. Sometimes it's hard to keep a straight face uh, with those little moments because we have so much fun on the set. And it's a lot of hard work, so there's always a sense of tension and pressure. Yeah. And when you have moments like that, um, it's sometimes tough after long hours to keep a straight face. Well, so that was a cool moment between y'all. But then, I mean, obviously there's the fight scene. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean... It's deep. Christopher, how'd you feel about the fight scene? He's all, it, the character of Avery is always there for her and for everyone. He's always... For the whole... For all five seasons... He's always been the perseverer of always championing someone. Yeah. So I love that. Mm -hmm. And he always perseveres for everything. And he does it, he once again, does it again. Yeah. So, sure. I mean, with that scene, when you're filming the fight scene, like you said, sometimes it's hard to keep a straight face. Like yeah. when y'all are doing the fight scene, sometimes yeah. are you like, you just crack up laughing and you're like, cut, <laughs> cut. Not quite <laughs> during those scenes. I mean, in, in between takes, yeah. I mean, it's, it's an interesting thing because... Um, you know, especially playing characters over the course of a few years. Right. You have all these scenarios and, and memories uh, that that you're that are present with you as you're doing new scenes. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes in the middle of dramatic scenes, I mean, uh, and Chip is somebody that that happens to a lot. I mean, because he's so funny and he's so you know obviously with whose line is it anyway and sure. improv. Um, at any moment, you know, no matter what's going on, he could just break out into some <laughs> improv, you know, thing. And, uh, and the next thing you know, you're out of character. And you're yeah. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Way to go. Well, since we're talking about the fight scene, that's definitely worth revisiting. Mm. So let's roll that clip right now. You are such a pain in the ass. You know that? And don't worry. It has nothing to do with you being hurt because you've been like this since the day I met you. 
You just push people away, because God forbid you might ever need anyone. So a lot of Avery and Juliet. Mm -hmm. So um, if any of you out there right now on Facebook, we want to be, uh, we want to see your Javery comments, your favorite Javery mm -hmm. moments. So like that would be hashtag, hashtag Javery. Did you know that was a thing? Have you ever hashtag Javery? I have not personally, but I think I've seen it. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, I, so Christopher and Becky as Nashies, have you ever hashtag? You have Javery? to. It's, yeah. it's 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 ritual. You it's have necessary. to do it. It's necessary. So okay. start sending yeah, us your favorite moments. I feel like Juliet, I. Honestly, like there was previous seasons where I was just a little bit annoyed with her, um, but I'm 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 falling in love with her this this season, yeah. and I'm in y'all's whole relationship and what y'all yeah. have going on, and I yeah. kind of really feel for her, right. and it seems like she's got this whole spiritual thing happening with the whole, mm -hmm. you know. Why me? I think yeah. if you've ever been through something like that, it's that's a common question, yeah. right? Yeah. Like totally. why why did I survive? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, one of the brilliant things I've loved about uh, the character of Juliet from the beginning is, you know, they've had her so extreme in terms of her, mm -hmm. uh, you know, being that sort of diva. Mm -hmm. And at oh, the same sure. time, because you know some of her history and you know some of the things she's been through, you have a lot of empathy and compassion for her. And Hayden plays both of those levels so amazingly. And this season in particular, I just feel like is going even farther in that, where you're really getting a glimpse into Juliet's soul uh, of somebody who's been through a lot but is really trying to, you know, get on the other side of it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing to see the journey of these characters over this many years. It's, yeah. It's kind of exciting for us as actors to get to keep going. Well, I'm um, excited for where y'all's rela relationship is going, and we're getting in some of the Javery moments. <laughs> and um, Taylor said that, you know, their favorite Javery moment was when Avery picked up Juliet and looked deep into her eyes at the end of the episode, mm. which we all know where that led. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Natalie said every time Juliet and Ev Avery find a way to work it out, that's mm -hmm. her favorite. Mm. And, um, you know, I feel like a lot of people are going to start connecting to, I don't know where your relationship is going this season, but right. I, I like where I think it's going. So yeah. I'm excited about that. And another couple that we're all obsessed with, obviously, is... Raina and Deacon. Mm -hmm. Duh. I mean, Always. They're just like, it's like a class. I mean, Becky, right? No. Oh, well, yes. I don't know. Who, who's your favorite couple on the show, Becky? Avery and Julie. Okay. Oh, you're saying that because <laughs> no, I'm, I'm here. Not. That's no, right. no, I don't no, have to no. say that just because you're no. cool. Okay. No, 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 no. Well, that's fine. No, no. Uh, that's valid. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are out there so with sweet. you. Yeah. Um, Christopher, what about you? Who's I love the fact. You, uh, the, the character Avery is always, as once again, also referred to be a, you know, a support, and that character is always and an amount of with with Julia with Julia Barnes or with Hayden Pantier, it's mm -hmm. you, it always delivers. You always deliver the moment of so helping cool. someone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we all want that help. And so it, it helps everyone. That's cool. No, we that's always good. get there. And no, you deliver that into a big moment. Mm -hmm. And so I think the fan you know, people that watch the show, it's just amazing to see how they can be helped in some way in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's and you cool. and, and yeah. Avery does that, what you do. You That's do it sure. so well. That's you cool. do it very well. I think we all yeah. want to relate and I feel like I don't know, I'm a huge I'm a huge I mean, I know that you're sitting here, but I'm a huge Raina Deacon. Hey, please. Like, That's yeah, fantastic. I, so, That's all good. I mean no Night and day. Maybe, even in a few episodes I'll be like Team no, Javery. I mean, I'd still support <laughs> you guys. But I mean I had a total Raina Deacon like mm -hmm. just like moment mm -hmm. when they're getting ready for bed, and Raina's like just putting on lotion, and they're talking about what they're gonna do with this Zach dude in Highway 65. I just love that scene. It seems mm -hmm. so real, and yeah. like that's legit what couples go that's through at night right. when they're getting ready for bed, like dissecting their day. Right. And then of course, like hello, yeah. I was like hello, Connie Britton, your legs are still freaking amazing. It was so very intimate with, without being intimate. There you go. So let's yeah. revisit yeah. that clip right now. <laughs> So I can reenact it. Um, yeah. So she put her lotion on. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So we don't have the clip. Uh, minor technical difficulty. But yeah. um, what were you about to say? No, I was just going to say. I mean, that's one of the. Sometimes it's overlooked in in shows like this. Those those small. Uh, moments. Yeah. Oftentimes, uh, people can get sucked into the, the the very dramatic plot moments. But really, it is those simple moments mm -hmm. between characters that the audience has grown to love, uh, just living their daily life at the end of the day and seeing uh, 
seen a couple at the end of the day relate to each other and walk through what they're what they're going through. It's it's those small things are actually really engaging and fascinating. And I'm really grateful that that we're uh, tapping into more of those kinds of moments. That's yeah. how you connect. It yeah. does. It yeah. makes yeah. it more relatable. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I, oh, hey, I do that when I get home. Yeah. So it's, right. it's not, it makes the show more believable right. no, and more relatable. No, it's not so, yes. like, that. dramatic or soap opera-ish to where you're like, you can't relate. Right. It's Everyone like, connects it's, with that. It's, mm. We're definitely connecting. And I think another major point, speaking of Raina, I mean, we still don't know who her, her crazy stalker is. Right. Which... That's, like, super scary. It's super Very. scary. <laughs> like, I'm, mm. I'm sort of freaked out by the fact that it was sent to her house, but it wasn't mailed, so it had to have been dropped off. Like, at that point, I'm like, I mm, think I'm going to go stay at a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, False name. And, well, I mean, we don't, know where the, we don't know where the stalker's <laughs> going or what's going to happen. I mean, I don't know if you're tapped into any of that, but um, I don't know. Has, has Avery, I guess on the show, you haven't dealt with any stalkers. In real life, have you had any crazy fan situations? Oh, I mean, there's been things. I mean, I've been in, in the business since I was 11 years old. Oh, so, you oh know, wow. So there's all sorts okay. of different interactions. But I would say, by and large, um, you know, uh, the General Hospital fans are incredible. You right. know, and, yeah. and the Nashville fans are incredible. So I feel so blessed uh, because... So you know, lucky. when we go out on tour, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so lucky, yeah. <laughs> -dum -dum. That was my character in General Hospital. Um, oh. So when we, Sorry, you know, I just yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> when we go out Sorry, on. Sorry, I was a Y and R fan. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. fine then. Good yeah. <laughs> but you know, going out on tour and playing the music and meeting people, it, it's just so much uh, love and support. Mm. And a lot of the what the show is, especially with the music. It's, it's such a unique way to reach people. Not mm -hmm. only do you have these characters and, and the storylines they're going through, but you also have the unique moment of connecting the journey of these characters through music. Yeah. And that's just such a unique, powerful well, way to connect. And y'all have taken the show out on the road, like all yeah. over the world. And I think what's cool about Nashville fans and Nashies is none of you out there are going to be sending envelopes of rose petals and dropping them off Please at, don't. at, at well, Jonathan's house. Please don't. Like, you're just, like, Valentine's Day is coming up soon. So you it is know. February. <laughs> They're coming up. Let's not scare <laughs> The guest. No, but I will say <laughs> that I would love to take you know this opportunity to thank all of the the Nashies uh, out there because really we're here in season five because of you, mm -hmm. and uh, all the support yeah. means so much to us and we feel it and we're so grateful. So thank you so much. Um, well, I feel like um, thank you for coming back. That this Seriously. kind of like is a perfect moment. I wasn't going to do this here, but it's kind of rolling right into our Nashi of the week. Something cool that we're doing on Nash Chat is recognizing a Nashville fan every week. So Nashi mm. of the week, and this one, she's legit. Like she's truly hardcore. <laughs> yeah. Um, so her name is Laura okay. Gallo, and she lives in New Jersey. And she hosted a season five premiere in New York. For people to come and gather together to watch the premiere, awesome. and nice. do you know who showed up? Who? Chip Eston. <laughs> yes, no way. he awesome. showed up. Great. Just to play awesome. Warren. Yeah. yeah, so it's super exciting that yeah. you know she did that. So we just want to recognize you, Laura, for being yes. like a super Absolutely. amazing, Thank awesome you. fan. Well done. She she's traveled all over the world to see your Nashville concerts, oh, amazing. and then she's even had other Nashies like from Australia that are mm -hmm. visiting in America, like that come to New York. They've come and stayed in her home. <laughs> so like so y'all awesome. are not only like. We've heard, you know, Do you know what I'm talking about? Stories, like you're bringing, yeah, you're creating road, friendships. Yes, right. We've met people and they're like, I would never have met these people had it not been, yeah. you know, for the show and, and, right. and Nashies and everything. And it's, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, it's so beautiful. that's huge. Um, I guess we've covered uh, the rain and Deacon. So another moment from the show I wanted to recognize was when you were hanging out with Will at the bar. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, y'all were just, you know, having a guy's night, drinking some beers, doing whatever. And Will kind of had a moment where he's like, all right, I don't really know what I'm doing. Things aren't great. I'm being tempted. So I think I'm just going to move in with them. And you're like, pump the brakes. Yeah, <laughs> just hold like, up. Wait a Not minute. Not a good idea. Yes. So, I mean, it's just kind of, I thought that was very wise mm. of you. Yeah. I mean, I know that was... Not you, sure. you, well, but no, I, I mean, mean I'm sure Avery's Jonathan would have said that. Yeah. yeah, in terms of Avery's perspective, I think it was that that moment of clarity for a friend to say, look, uh, moving in together doesn't fix things Do you if, hear that, if, if the relationship nice. isn't, you know, <laughs> right. in a good place. Yeah, okay. So I thought that was, you know, in keeping with, yeah. uh, with Avery kind of uh, having his finger on the pulse. But, you know, I, that scene was one of the most 
difficult scenes to film because Why? that darn pinball machine <laughs> was like we had to actually play it and everything and so it was beeping and uh, the whole time and and oh. and uh, Chris and I kept looking at each other and I was like I couldn't remember my lines and it was it was actually quite funny but I'm glad it turned out well. Do some of the scenes just end up totally off script and improv like and then it ends up working and then the director's you know, like hey that works. Good I to go. wish I wish to be honest there was more of that. There isn't as much of that as, as I, I wish make there a phone was. Call. Would you? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, sure. we, we do have moments uh, where stuff like that is thrown in, but for the most part, it's, it's an ambitious schedule that we have. Um, and so the focus really is to come in and be prepared and do the best you can with what's there. And, um, and you look for those moments, but not as much as you would like. I mean, because that's, that's fun as an actor when, when stuff kind of goes off script and, you know, that spont spontaneity happens. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you do know what else is fun? Hmm. Doing a Q&A with Jonathan nice. Jackson. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we've, got, Go we've compiled it. questions from Facebook, people okay. that are watching right now live um, on CMT's Facebook page. And um, let's see, Denise Rossi, she says, when are we going to hear Avery sing again? Yes. Nice. Yes, um, yes. Boy, where are we right now in terms of what's airing? I mean, there, there's some well, songs. Well, you and Juliet just... Yeah, there, make there, things happen. Hashtag what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. There, there are some songs coming up. Yeah, Avery's. Okay. Because I feel gonna, like last week we kind of caught you going through old pictures, like looking yeah. at yourself on stage, like missing that. Yeah, yeah and I think there was a little a moment of kind of, uh, I think it was the last episode where he said, um, you know, time for myself and who is that, you know? Right. He's kind of, it's dawning on him that, and as a, even as an artist, he's been either. Uh, writing for other people or producing other people's music, and he can't catch a break because he never finishes producing an album. <laughs> everyone he's, everyone he's know, producing something, kind of you know, bummer. something happens. So uh, I think he is, you know, kind of reevaluating that and, and remembering the the love that he had of uh, of writing his own music and performing. You know. Okay. Well, um, Courtney would like to know what are your favorite scenes to film for the show. Wow, uh, that's. I, mean, I want to know your favorite and then your most like awkward. I'm going to um, guess the most awkward. Go ahead, please. You, uh, please. What just Go happened tonight? Yeah, I'm going to guess it's probably the most awkward. That can be. That can be. It just depends. Um, you know, honestly, for me, I would say probably the the uh, Avery and Juliet scenes, you know. Those I mean, are your faves? Yeah. I mean, you know, Hayden started out as a young kid uh, on soap operas, and so did I. And so we kind of have a, a very similar way that we approach work and everything. And so there's just a natural rapport um, and everything just clicks. And yeah. so whether it's the funnier moments or the kind of yelling at each other, it's all kind of in the creative space. It's actually quite fun. Mm -hmm. And um, and there's there's a enough of a... The characters have been together long enough where there's a sense of uh, rapport and trust, right. you know, as That's actors. True. So I love that stuff. And then there are other moments where I'm in a group scene and I'm not really doing much as an actor, but I get to observe you know, yeah. what my friends are doing. Their craft. Their craft. Yeah. And I actually love those moments uh, to sit back. That's and it's cool. the same thing on tour when I'm side stage getting to watch them perform and mm -hmm. sing. I, I get really moved and, and inspired uh, by what they do. So Awesome. Aww. Well, uh, Beth wants to know how many babies <laughs> play Cadence? <laughs> Uh, well, we, we, now it's down to two, but we started out with, I don't know, like six. What? Wow. Well, but, okay, That's a plethora. So here, yeah. The reason is because they, all, they, almost, they always have twins because okay. the babies are only allowed to work for a very short period of time. So and, it's like from, like, oh, wow. I learned that from Full House. With right. The, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, but when we first started, I don't know why, but we had like three different sets of twins, <laughs> even in one episode. So you had like... I, I walked in with one baby, <laughs> and the scene started the next, and they picked up a different baby, and it was the this funniest not the thing, baby. <laughs> because one of them was like, you know, brunette, and the next one was blonde, and Hayden and I were looking at each other going, what is, is going on Is anybody, like, here? noticing these babies, yeah. like, is um, it sad that none of us noticed that? Well, they, they actually <laughs> painted the hair after oh, they did. because okay. okay. I was like, what are we wow, going to do? Like, nice. how is someone not going to notice it? Nice. But the ones we landed on, I just have to say this, because they... Uh, Andy and Nora, they are the most sweet, oh. like the best babies you'll ever meet. Aww. It's incredible. Like we're floored because awesome. they just, whatever it is, whatever the environment is, you know, sets are crazy and all this yeah. stuff is going on and they're just the 
best babies you could ever ask for. So we've we've oh, been awesome. yeah. set babies. Yeah. Set babies. I like it. I like it. I mean, did you guys know that they did? I, did. I, I mean, I'm shocked by the whole set baby thing. I did not know. Like, I knew there were I knew there were at least Shout two. Shout out Beth for asking Once that question. Once again, a plethora of babies. Like, yeah. well, since we've got Becky and Christopher on the couch, like how about you guys? One question each for Jonathan. Oh my gosh. Um Oh, you go first because I need a minute. One thing I do like is <laughs> one thing I what, what I love about you is about your faith in God, oh, wow. and how oh, did you yes. deliver your gift in this role that you have with Avery? How do you deliver that 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 gift that you have with Avery that God gave you? Oh wow, uh, that's very kind. Um, yeah, I, I mean that's a tough question to answer, I guess. Because um, He gave you a great gift. He well, I appreciate that. I mean, I feel really grateful for all the people that have nurtured that. You know, like when I started on General Hospital, uh, Anthony Geary and Jeannie Francis, I was 11 years yeah. old, and they took me under their that. wing, uh, and I feel indebted to them. I've, I've told Tony and Jeannie this, that they're with me in every scene I do, uh, just for the rest of my life. They're, they're always with me because I learned so much from them. Um, you know, and, and also, you know, I had wonderful parents, um, and artistically, it's been a journey of uh, actually, you know, kind of having faith and, and asking questions like, how, does, how, can I, how can I bring my faith into the artistic process? Mm-hmm. Um, and I actually wrote a, a, a little book a few years ago. It just came out last year called The Mystery of Art that is kind yes. of about some of those questions and, the, and that journey. Um, but any kind of art, especially acting, is, it's a group thing, it you know? And for me, that's why I was saying before, I get inspired by what other people do. So, like, when I'm working with Hayden, um, it's easy because she's so good she's at what so she good. does Amazing. that it's like, it's just, Flawless, it, yeah, it's just, sure. it's just I, what I feel like what I have to do is, is easy because what she's doing is so great. And I think it's that um, camaraderie and that sense of um, just being open to uh, not getting in the way yeah. of whatever that creative moment is supposed to be but um i appreciate that mm. thank yeah. you so much i value that in you i really wow. a lot of ways thank you. i really do I feel like you. you just had a moment solid yeah. question yeah. solid answer yeah. 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 thank you bring so much. it and now i'm up <laughs> <laughs> becky follow that mine's gonna be pretty easy um when you are going through the intense scenes like you went through with juliet tonight mm-hmm. and you put that into real life situations mm-hmm. when you find yourself struggling or see other people struggling what kind of advice or be it you learned it through the show or just Mm -hmm. learned it through own personal experiences when you see people who are struggling and having issues be it with you know there's a lot going on in the world right now and there's a lot of insecurities um, going on so what would you just words of wisdom that you would based on what you've learned and what you know and what you've seen Mm. just to tell people that you know we're going to be okay I mean, I would just say that it's kind of what you just said is that, you know, people need each other and a sense of community. I think isolation always uh, leads to uh, more uh, difficult and and darker times, really being there for each other. And, and, you know, it's something I emphasize with my kids a lot is the importance of communication. You know, it's it's hard sometimes, but to, to say it's okay, just speak whatever's in your heart you know and um the more we can talk to each other and be there for each other um just that alone even if you don't have an answer because oftentimes when someone's struggling i don't have an answer for them i can't fix the problem but if we're there for each other sometimes that's enough you know to just feel that sense of connection and humanity so awesome thank you thank you well great questions guys and thank you nashies for submitting your questions for jonathan now i've got a question for jonathan and Alyssa, both that y'all are performers um so in the episode tonight we saw will get on stage after his breakup and he starts to like go into his set and then he's like whoa like i just i'm not i can't do this and Mm -hmm. he has to turn to his band and he's like we got to do this song because he was just feeling you know he had to go with what he felt. So I guess my question for y'all as artists and performers, have you ever had a moment where you're on stage and you've started something and you're just like, okay, this is just not right. Cut. I got to start over. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I have, but, but you normally turn to the man and you go, take it boys. And then you go have your moment. Bonagara like, style. And then I go, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm ready now. You know, you make up the second verse. But, um, you know, I wrote a song about my friend Nikki Mitchell, and that one's always a tough one to sing because she's passed on now. And Aww. she had pancreatic cancer, and um, 
it was a really tough time. So whenever I play that song, I go back to that moment when I wrote it, and it's always really hard, but I know that, like, I think when you step outside yourself when you're singing, you know, you realize you're the messenger, so you have to just kind of, you got to do it. Oh, because yeah. it might be reaching someone else, mm -hmm. and that's, you know, what we all hope for. So, you, so it's hard to get through sometimes, but yeah, it's mm. definitely hard. That's when you tell them to take it, for sure. Yeah, just <laughs> tell the band to take it. What about you, Jonathan? Um, well, I just have to say, I, I was there. Was that your Opry debut? It was. Okay, I was Aww. there for her Opry Aww. debut, and it was amazing. Thank like, you. seriously incredible. So I just have to How say, how crazy that, that we're here now. Yeah. I know. Um, I love how that works out. Full circle. Out. I know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, that's a good question. I mean, in terms of, um, you know, performing live, um, I don't know. I think I have a little bit of, I don't know what the word would be, but I, I, since I started performing at such a young age, mm -hmm. um, there is this kind of, there's this thing in me that isn't, doesn't allow myself to not perform. You know, it's yeah. like, if. I, if if I no matter what's happening, I kind of have to, yeah. and and it's and even even at sometimes I feel like it might not even I need to give myself a break some of the time. But I think when you're under a lot of pressure at a young age, you just kind of power through things, and so there is totally. that sense too. So you kind of um, hardwired yourself to just like. I think just through circumstances, right. you know. I mean, if you're even if you're really sick, you still you still plow through. You still yeah. do whatever you have to do. And I will say, in terms of like the band, for instance, the Innie Nation and my band, it's my brother who's the drummer and a cool. great friend who's a bass player who's been with us for, you know, t over 12 years now. And so it's like a family. So I yeah. do yeah. feel like if I had one of those moments that I, I'm not alone out there. They've got you and, covered. And yeah, yeah, and they've got me covered. Right. So oh, that's great awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. a nice feeling. You have well, like a great net. Yes. The band's got to be your net He's so you covered, can just fall and then you're sure. like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The good old no. trust fall. Yeah. 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 That was definitely, that's, well, thank you for sharing both of yeah. your, your experiences with that. It was definitely a cool moment with Will um, when he did that and kind of just cut, even though he had just broken up with his boyfriend, he still wanted to have that moment and respect it. You could tell he's still processing a lot of that emotion mm -hmm. and what's happening there. So, and then I love how the music, the last few episodes, is like whether it's Juliet, I guess that was last week or maybe the first week, I can't remember, and then Will tonight, like as he's playing, it kind of cuts to different scenes and wraps up what's happening, mm -hmm. which with you and Juliet, yeah, yeah. We it we know where home. we know where that went, yeah. but um, <laughs> I don't know. Did you it. like? Is, did anybody sure. have like a favorite episode or favorite scene from tonight's episode that they want to share quickly? Mm. Mm. Yeah, you I have one. I, I, I liked I liked the fight scene oh. because Juliet. I've too. watched her since Guiding Light. I mm. Hayden. I've always loved her, and you know you're with her, so thanks. <laughs> um, but what I love the most about it, and people. Give, she gets a bad rap because she is the diva and it's always yeah. but what I love about her and her character is that she has look at her life and she has never had a stability she's yeah. never had somebody who's always there for her and I think that's what makes you two so beautiful yeah. it's that you you know you're you can see it in your in your acting that you're at your wits end but you love her so much mm -hmm. that you won't give up on her and mm -hmm. it gives her a chance to say, yeah. to finally see, right. I'm not going anywhere. There are people that will be here for you. And I thought that even though it was arguing, right. but it was actually, you said a lot of beautiful things mm -hmm. to right. each other. It was, just, it was coming from love, yes. really. And, and that's, I thought yeah. that was, that just, that was mm -hmm. very, very sweet. And I yeah. thought it was cool tonight because, you know, in addition to that, she admitted later after the fight, I mean, she needed you. Right. Like she finally yes. admitted, like, was, I yeah, need I you. That. For, yes. you. For someone yeah. that yes. vulnerable, it's like, okay, for her to look at you and say like, I yeah. need you. That was a super special moment. Mm. Um, yeah. So you kind of, as we sort of like wrap things up tonight, Jonathan, I've got two requests from you. Okay. One super simple. Okay. I need you to look into the camera and I need mm -hmm. you to say, Stacy Morrison, <laughs> hi. Aww. Okay, Stacy Morrison, hi. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, I had you do that because okay. that's literally on her bucket list. Oh wow! Aww. That's so Look sweet. Look at you making wow. dreams come true I know. Today. That's, so that's what we do here at Nash Cat. <laughs> I, I hope I get Did to you meet you someday. On the bucket list? So, we God make bless. dreams okay. come true. Um, that's awesome. And then, you know, Jonathan, my second thing from you mm -hmm. is just if you have anything to share with us about your storyline coming up. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's obviously season. there's not yeah. much you probably can divulge, but I mean, how are you feeling about being back <laughs> in this season and where you're headed? Um, I, I feel really good about it. You know, we're, 
a few episodes ahead of what's airing, but we're still in the middle, filming-wise, of, yeah, of the whole season. Yeah, we see you filming all around town, yeah. Yeah, so in terms of the full season arc, I'm still... I still don't know where we're really going for the whole, you know, arc of the season. Yeah. So I still feel like we're in the midst of what's happening. Yeah. Um, you know, and I can't give any spoilers it's other than, you know, there's more. Well, I mean, come on, more, it's just us. Like a little teaser. <laughs> you don't have to lay it room. all it's out there. Setting we don't tell anyone, I promise. No, but I mean, I'm, you know, I, I, I like what's happening, and I like what's, uh, what's been going on with Avery and everything, and I think there's a lot of good stuff coming up. Um, but, you know, detail-wise, it's... Uh, they keep us on, you know, it's a tight ship. On your toes. Okay. Yeah. But you're doing it well. Thank Do you, you run the scripts, like, yeah. before you go, like, is it, like, a week before or something? You yeah, know it's not too far before, because we'll be filming one episode, and then, I, I mean, it, it varies, but four days before, a week maybe before the oh. next one starts. Oh, wow. So we're still filming uh, one and then reading the next one and trying to oh, digest wow. that while we're still filming That's this. Crazy. And then one could end, and the next one starts the next day. Yeah. Whoa. So the prep time for this script begins while you're filming the prior script yeah. as well. Wow. Yeah. No, that's awesome. That well, thank you cool. for sharing so all of that away. with us. And just so that you know, Stacy um, heard your hi. Oh, she awesome. responded. Yay. She responded hi, and Stacey. said, "Yes, hi, Stacey. Hi, you Stacey. have made my day." Awesome. So, well, thank you. I mean, anyway. if you that's feel sweet. like you didn't that? accomplish anything today, well, you did. Okay. Because you made I will take, day. I will take that with and me. And so, obviously, we were super excited to have our Nashies with us tonight. Yay. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you for having us. Thank you. You're welcome. And then, of course, Jonathan Jackson. Which, hello. If anybody wants to check out your smokehouse, like they should go oh, yeah. do that, yes. right? Um, Absolutely, a yeah. Jack and Jameson. Jack and Jameson in yeah. Franklin. Mm -hmm. um, what? What are? What's? Give us one thing you have to order if you go there. My, well, my favorite at the moment is the the brisket, which yeah. is it's a Reuben made with brisket, and it's it's, uh, it's really. It's what if you're nice. a vegetarian? Oh lord. Uh, well, <laughs> I actually I am a vegetarian sometimes, like quite a bit throughout the year. Me too. Yeah. I'm like eighty percent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I, I, I feel you, um, and we, they do have an incredible uh, veggie burger as well. There's also a lot of healthy options, which you don't expect at a barbecue joint, That's but there's gluten-free buns nice. and, you know, there all you sorts go. of stuff like that, and there's no frozen foods. It's just, it's really nice. good quality, and it's a fun place. Forward thinking with love all it. the... Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, that comes from my wife as well. She's Italian, and she likes to hey. You know, hey, keep everything. Hey, 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 Alyssa, right over here. Yes. Alyssa, yes. Yes. we have our Italian songbird here with us tonight, so... Um, Ellis is going to play us out, but um, you know, before we wrap, we just want to remind everybody that we're always here after Nashville airs on CMT. Yes. So what you do, I mean, if you're watching on Facebook Live, you realize like we're on Facebook, CMT's page, <laughs> 10, 9 central. Jonathan, you, I hope you're watching every single week. Yes, oh, yeah. from home. Yes, yes. Yeah. he's. He, uh, you're Between probably. Three kids. You're probably chiming yeah. in. <laughs> so, and some hashtags to keep in mind, just so you guys know, if you want to keep up with everything Nashville. Hashtag Nashville CMT. Hashtag Nashy. And there's one more. Do y'all know what it is? Nash chat. Hey. Bam. Yeah. Hashtag Nash chat. So, I hope y'all had fun tonight. Thank you for so joining nice. us, and Thank Alyssa. You for having so us. Take place out. Oh, yeah. wait. Hold on, real quick. Where can we find you? Yeah. So, AlyssaBonagura.com. Okay. And um, I've got. You know, a new album out called Road Less Traveled. Yeah. And um, I just made my opera debut, which is so cool to have you there. And yeah, so AlyssaBonagura.com. Okay. And on Facebook. Awesome. And we all love your yeah. work. Your work's amazing. Thanks. I love oh. your work. Really? And you look super cute. Thanks. And I so want to you. steal your boots and I'm your hat your and your jacket. jacket. Okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, we'll play us out. All right.